Okay, so welcome to another video tutorial and today we're gonna be using Premiere Pro 2019. As you know, a couple days ago, I uploaded a video how to install the Creative Drive and Premiere Pro 2019. So make sure to check out if you have, you know, the NVIDIA graphic card. I'm using the EVGA GTX 1070. Anyway, and so you know what? I'm gonna show you how to create the project that you just saw on my screen. As you know, I already have my project in this, uh, you know, Premiere Pro is 2019, of course, as I said. And also I have this uh, project, let me play, so you will have an idea how to create after this project or tutorial, you know, it's the same method I use. As you see, I got the image and, you know, and let me show you another. And also those three projects will be available to download. Of course, check the link in the description. Will be available for 2018, 2019. If you have the old version, it won't be available to open. So make sure and keep in mind it's for 2018 and 2019. As you see, this is what I created with the same method as, you know, it just opens and it stays for two seconds and then it closes back, as you see. And if you want me to do the same project that I'm showing right now, so just make sure and leave a comment down below the video. If I have a lot of comments, so I will do a special this uh, project or tutorial that we see in this right now. Uh, so make sure to check my site. The particles that we're going to be using today, it's this pack called Animate Mat. You can go ahead and download, of course, it's free. Make sure to download before you start the project. And the link, of course, will be in the description as well. And let me go ahead and make sure start the tutorial. You know, I already have those uh, couple projects and I create this folder called project five because I already have one, two and three, four. And so I just want to make sure as always keeping order everything, you know, make sure select and I'm going to hit command and to create a new camp position as DSLR 1080p I'm using right now. I'm going to go ahead and rename main. And then what else we need to do, make sure it's selected. I'm going to create two color mat. Okay. And make sure this is white. I'm going to click and call map display. Hit OK. And also I'm going to go ahead and create another one. You know, make sure, make sure to create two, you know, and this I'm going to leave black, gold lens, click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop on the timeline. Make sure to delete the track so it's much easier to work, you know, to have clean the timeline. And make sure to go seven seconds. Let me zoom in, you know, and also make sure select. And this is what we have. Make sure, as I said, my workspace might look a little bit different than yours because I'm using with effects. That's what I customize like after effects, you know, and you can also do the same, customize and have a, a different workspace like I have Nerus graphic. And I'm gonna look for the effect called circle. It's under the generate folder, double click. As you see, we got this circle. Make sure select it. Go effect control and we're gonna go and play with the radius. So make sure to hit zero and make sure the cursor is at the beginning. Of course, let me hit home. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure select it. And I'm going to go and, you know, add a keyframe, go two seconds. You can go the, you know, the time you want. So I'm going to go ahead for two seconds for this. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure increase the size, you know, make sure it's not out of the, you know, window composition, you know, otherwise you won't be uh, able to have a nice transition. The way I create this, let me show you this tutorial, actually this uh, effect. So as you see, opens, it stays for two seconds, then goes back. So the way I create this is, let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Make sure it's selected. I make sure it's two seconds, of course, and then go two more seconds, which will be four. And then add another keyframe and then go two more seconds will be six seconds and then go and hit zero percent or zero. And so we will have this. Let me play. As you see, I haven't rendered and play. It's uh, nice and smooth, you know, when you install the CUDA drive. And so as you see, comes out, I mean, comes in, stays two seconds, then goes up. That's the way I create, as I said, this effect. So make sure, you know, but for this tutorial, I don't need those extra keyframes. So I'm going to just delete. 
you know, make sure it's selected. I'm going to hit the tilde key, that's the hotkey to open the panels. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this out a little bit for a moment. And I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, select this keyframe and smooth out a little bit the animation, of course, as always. And let me go ahead right there, maybe. And don't forget to put those keyframes back, you know, the same way we had before. And this is what we have. So let me play, as you see, nice animation, smooth, of course. And then what we can do is make sure select, go effect uh, panel and look for turbulence display. You know, it's under the distort. And you see this kind of shape, so we can go and play with the settings, you know. I'm going to go ahead and increase the amount, not too crazy, and decrease the, you know, the scale maybe right there. So we can have maybe like this. And this is what we have. And also, let me close this to have a, a little bit more space, you know, and make sure to select it. I'm going to go ahead and look for rough edges. You know, it's under the style folder, video effect, of course. And let me double click and make sure play with the settings, of course. So let me go ahead and make sure to have 100%, you know, just to see. Actually, let me go ahead and move this a little bit to the right or left. And let me go ahead and increase the border. So maybe 200 or, you know, 190. I'm going to go ahead and also I'm going to decrease this to 0.90. And this may be 0.80, as you see, the edges. And also, I'm going to decrease the scale. So I don't want too soft the edges. So that's why you can play around if you really like uh, soft edges. So you can do the same. So I'm going to go ahead and leave 80 or 70, maybe, right there. And so let me go ahead and fit and count. So this is what we have. Actually, you see, nice. As I say, you can have a smooth edge if you want. And then once we have this, I'm going to go ahead and select the Move Tool, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and right-click next to Camp, and I'm going to call Map Display. Hit OK. And once we have this, let me go into the Project Panel and make sure we have this in the same folder, just to have everything in order, you know. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this Maps Display, of course. Right-click, Duplicate, Don't Copy and Paste. Otherwise, it won't work. So let me go ahead and rename this 001. And also, I'm going to go ahead and say image map display. Cool. And then let me double click and make sure select the display map in this case. And I'm going to go ahead and hold it on Option Alt and PC. I'm going to duplicate two or three more times, you know. And make sure select the first. I'm going to Go and select the effect control panel. Make sure select it. Just click this motion so we can just arrange this, move around, you know. Make sure move this side. This one may be down here at the bottom. And this one I'm going to leave there. So I'm going to go and duplicate one more time maybe. And move this maybe to the left bottom. And also we can, you know, scale up a little bit those, you know, to have a nice, make sure... Let me just move this a little bit up and maybe this right there. Make sure to just close, you know, and also you can rotate if you want right there. So we will have this basically. And also I'm going to go ahead and offset the time those uh, layers. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe move this back. Maybe this one right there. And maybe, you know, just have different starts, you know. So we will have this basically nice. Then let me close this and go back to the main. Actually, as you see, we got this one, the master in this case. I'm going to go and delete this and make sure drag and drop the display map we just created and drop on the second layer. And also we're going to go and drop the image. For the image, I already animate kind of like, you know, zoom in, zoom out, and also this moved from, let me open this just to show you. You know, I moved this from the bottom to the top. And this one, let me just go ahead and show you basically this. I moved from the top to bottom. And also, I think I add a little bit more scale. As you see, those keyframes, I scale up a little bit and move the position. And that's the way you can do the same thing, you know, just to have a little more dynamic. If you're using video, of course, you don't have to do this, of course. 
let me close all of them and I'm gonna go and drop the first image drag and drop you know and we will have this basically let me put this in the bottom and this is what we have as you guess I'm gonna go ahead and I mean select the image and look for the effect track mat uh, you know double click and make sure go effect control and make sure to put in the layer 2 where we have our display map and this is what we have once we have this we can duplicate this one more time actually and put one more on top and then we can go ahead and delete this actually I don't need to duplicate this so I'm gonna go and make sure you know add a text so let me make sure put this on baseball and add a text so you know I can type Neta Studio you can type whatever you want and also let me go ahead and move this and go to the essential graphics make sure select it I'm gonna go and look for the Roboto font you can download if you want of course and make sure select it so why it's not working so let me just go Roboto okay and also we can you know align to the center maybe and the size increase a little bit if you want and maybe you can animate this a little bit so you know the image is kind of like zooming out so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in this a little bit so add a keyframe go maybe six five five six seconds and you know maybe 10 more pixels and so we will have this as you see and also we can put this inside this mask so let me put this baseball and look for the track mark again pull drag and drop into the narrow studio text and make sure you know go and you know we have in the layer 4 and this is what we have basically yep nice so we can go back to actually you know what let me select all of them right click nest the camp and I'm gonna call this holder 1 so it will be much easier to speed up the work you know just duplicating and then let me go into the project panel again make sure it's in the folder and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this right click duplicate you know and rename this too and then I'm gonna go ahead and double click and make sure replace the image so if we go to this uh, composition folder or image comp I'm gonna drag and drop this make sure the image is selected hold it on option out in PC so we can replace the image and we have this and also what we can do in here is go to the main and drag and drop the second holder as you know so we have the second folder so we got different image basically we got this flower and this couple and you know and I'm gonna go ahead but the transitions the same effect you know starting at the same time you know the same so the way I have this kind of like more dynamic you know is you know let me go ahead and make sure duplicate this as well you know the transition and rename this and uh, number two maybe so we won't confuse it and then we're gonna go ahead and double click and we're gonna just uh, offset the time you know and also we can you know maybe uh, right there and actually you know what so maybe right there so we will have kind of like a little bit different than the first holder so let me go ahead and make sure close this open the second keeps open and I'm gonna go ahead and replace the display map so let me go ahead and hold it on option display map you know just replace it you know select hold it on option and replace it so we will have a little bit different than the first transition so as you see this is what we have and the second have a little bit different uh, you know offset time the transition once we have this we can you know create as many you want just duplicating as you see so I already have those two let me put this in the third layer so we can drag and drop another image in here so let me go ahead and drag and drop this one maybe you know as I said you can have video or photos and this is what we have and so the way to have the particles as you see in here and also in here I have kind of like particles and you know you can go into my site you know make sure the link will be in the description you can download this mat animated pack or puzzle pack you know it's free you can download and you will have the uh, particles so I already hit download it 
and make sure I have in this folder image folder and you can see the previous I'm gonna go ahead and use this so let me make sure it has in the main of course camp position and this is what we have so let me drag and drop the you know the particles and see what we have nice you know and you can play make sure select it go effect control and you know you can play with the blending options you will have a lot of different effects but in this case I'm gonna use overlay so you can play with these opacity you know and you will have this basically and then what else we had in the preview is kind of like you know the lens flare so the way I create that is let me go and hit and just drag and drop the you know the black color mat and you know make sure select and look for the lens flare double click and this is what we have if we go to the effect control make sure it's selected and you will be able to move around so let me go ahead and put the cursor at the beginning maybe and move this down here and you know add a keyframe the flare center maybe move three four seconds and let me put this 25 percent so we can see much better and make select and let me just cross the screen you know right there and go three more seconds maybe down here uh, four seconds and then just move up you know just crossing so you will have this basically you know the uh, fl uh, lens flare animated and then the last thing we need to do is make sure selected go blending options you know blending mode options and we can have a screen and you will have this let me put back fit in camp and let me just play so let me just hit the space you know on the keyboard and this is what we have basically as you see so we got different transitions we got the particles and so you know the text as well you know so let me go ahead and see so you can create the text as i said so basically and if you go inside the this holder you can replace the text or just uh, delete so let me go ahead and show you what i'm talking about let me just you know say tut and so let me make sure it's aligned to the center you know and so we will have a different folder and different i mean different holder and different text and different images of course so you won't have the same and all holders so let me close and play and see what we have this is what we have of course so you can play a little bit more with the lens play if you want so this is what we have so that's the way we create this nice uh, whole project as you see i'm not gonna play again because you already saw at the beginning and also you can you will be able to create the same effect as i said using the same method you know and also as i mentioned at the beginning the project will be available to download make sure you know to have the at least 2018 or the latest 2019 otherwise you won't be able to open if you have the old versions you know make sure to check the links in the description and also make sure to check my website download this for free as i said and make sure to subscribe to my two youtube channels english and spanish and you know make sure to like our facebook page and the twitter and see you next time